What's up guys? I'm Bormai. Welcome back for another video. This video today is a step-by-step -step tutorial for getting and assembling the Brazen Bull Shield. I'll show you all the locations of each part that you're going to need to assemble the shield for the map 9. I'm loving the map 9. If you're new, make sure you smash that red subscribe button. Ding that bell so you get notifications when new videos drop. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you're digging these uh, new zombie maps. And, of course, smash that thumbs up button. Give me a like. Alright guys, so there are three parts that you have to collect in order to assemble the Brazen Bull Shield. Each part will spawn in one of three locations. I'll show you all three possible locations for all three parts. The first part is located in the Egyptian Sun God Ra's room. This part is probably the easiest to get to as it's only a thousand points to open the first gate. There's only one gate located between you and this part. So as soon as you open the gate, you come in, you go into the Egyptian area, head right up the stairs, and as soon as you come around the door, turn left. This is the point where I find the, the bull head part. Uh, I think this part looks like the bull's head. This is where you'll find this part more often. The next part, or the next spawn location, is located on the wall against the pillar underneath the shotgun that you can buy off the wall. The third possible spawn point is located to the wall directly across from the shotgun uh, located right here. So the second shield piece that you're going to need to find is uh, it's basically what I would call the shield wall. To me, it looks like the main part of the shield. I called it the wall. That's going to be located in the Odin room. You know Odin. He's the all-father of Norse mythology, most commonly known as being the father of Thor, god of thunder, and Loki, god of mischief. He's the king of Asgard. That's him. So, as you come around, um, you're going to have to go underground to actually get access to the third floor. But once you come up to the third floor, the first possible spawn point is going to be in this uh, against this weapons barrel here in this corner right here on the third floor. So after you find this, if it's not there, go down to the second floor, and you'll see the stairway going back down to the first floor. There's a shield rack right here. Sometimes you'll find the uh, the part here on this shield rack on the bottom shelf. The last possible location is if you go down those stairs to the first floor, you're going to see the large cauldron room. You're going to make a left, go around the cauldron. You're going to see this pillar here. Uh, this is also a spawn location for the main section of the, the shield wall. The last piece, the third piece of the shield, is the blade, and it is located in the Zeus Tower. Zeus is kind of like Odin in Greek mythology. He's the father of the gods. He has a... Uh, somewhat known son, you probably heard of him, Hercules. Anyway, the first spawn point is going to be on the third floor at the feet of this statue here. Now, if it's not there, you're going to go down the stairs to the second spawn point, which is actually going to be in the hand or the arm of this statue right here. Now, if it didn't spawn there, what you're going to have to do is go down to the first floor, locate these candles. These are the ones here you'll find the blade sometimes located in this section. So after you've gathered all three parts, what you're going to have to do is find the crafting room with the crafting table so that you can build the shield. So basically, how I remember it is it's the room kind of next to Pack-a-Punch uh, and this statue's room, which has the, uh, the mystery box in it. And more often than not, I think it, the mystery box actually starts in this statue room. But anyway, after you've got the parts, find this crafting table, craft your shield. So what I've found so far are there's three possible moves that you can do with the shield once you've got it. One, you can equip it with L1, and then you can use uh, basically R3. You can bash into the zombies, which will kill the zombies. The second move, and take note of this move, is if you hit L L2 um, or L1, you, you equip the shield, then you hit your L2 and R2, and that's going to shoot um, balls of fire. What I had mentioned that you want to take note of is that there are some Easter egg challenges to uh, complete with 
these fireballs, little objects that you have to shoot. We'll get into that in another video probably. Not going to go into it today. I just wanted you to take note that there are some other Easter eggs you can do with the shield. The final move is basically you equip your shield and you can use your action button to basically slice zombies with the blade. So the more zombies you hit, the, the, the blade will get powered up. It becomes on fire. I'm not exactly sure yet what this does or what the significance of the blade being on fire. If you guys know, leave me a comment. Let me know what the, the use is of this so I'll know in the future for either more videos or for my own personal enjoyment in playing zombies. Um, and then one other thing you need to know about the shield is if you happen to break your shield, you can go back to the crafting table and you can purchase another shield for 1,500 points. That's it for now. Until next time, I'm Bormai, signing out.